Hey John, your sister here with Crosspoint Digital. I want to shoot you over this quick little video to go over some tips and tricks that things that you can do in-house uh, that will help bring more business to you utilizing your website and your Google business profile. So let's start with your website. You've got the sidebar chat box. That's great. That's you know initial engagement, etc. The biggest thing that I notice or don't see is you don't have a phone number up here or a call to action right at the very top. Um, I really recommend that we add that in uh, right here all in the body of your page. That would really help so people know how to get a hold of you and they're going to click on that to get your phone number immediately. Being photography centric, you've got a lot of great photos. Now, I will say this, one of the things that Google loves and helps will help you in your Hey John, your sister here with Crosspoint Digital. Wanted to shoot you over this quick little video to go over some tips and tricks, things that you can do that will help bring you more business utilizing your website and your Google business profile. So let's start with looking at your website. You've got this sidebar chat box for quick engagement and that's great. But one of the things that I see that you're missing is no phone number. I really recommend we get a phone number up here at the very top of your page and then include it in other places. Now being photography centric, you have great photos, of course, and, and that can be part of your content as long as you're saving these photos with keywords in them. We'll talk about that later. But Google loves content. They want to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words on a home page, depending on your competition and the number of keywords in your home page. Now, a keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for a particular product or service. Google really likes information, so in your content, we can strategically strategically place keywords to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website to be put in front of when people are looking for it. What's important for you is that all your pictures really can be considered that content. So when you save them with a keyword or as a keyword, if you're not already, and then import them, that will be a keyword that Google will search on. Your front page has approximately 228 words. So to help ranking uh, rank higher on Google searches, I recommend you get that word total up to at least 750 or higher, adding in those keywords, which we'll talk about here in a minute. I went ahead and inserted your website into a paid tool that I use called Arifs. Arifs gives us a basic analytic view of your site. The things that we look at, first of all, are this UR and the DR right here. There's strength and trust with, with Google. That's what they indicate. The numbers that we're looking for are between 30 and 40 to be considered a strong site. Now you're showing 14 and 86, which are good, but what I'm afraid of is that this number is inflated because if you look at the website address, it says hawkeyedrone.godaddysites.com. And I think including GoDaddy sites right there is what's causing this DR to increase like it is because GoDaddy is so well known. Um, that's one of the first things I would recommend is making sure that what we see is your actual domain and we're not seeing hawkeyedrone.godaddysites.com. So we can work on that. That's something we can talk about later. Um, if you use some of these tips that I'm going to talk about here today, it will help to boost your actual numbers for your domain and Google's just going to trust you more. Now, you also don't have any backlinks, which are from referring domains or websites. Now, a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another website via clickable text. These links act like an endorsement for your site from others. Now, but not all backlinks are created equal. Some are really spammy and others are authoritative, which is what you want. You want to go after backlinks that are authoritative and related to the niche that you're in. That will send power to your site and it's going to boost your strength in Google's eyes. Now, right now, the other thing I want to look at is organic keywords. You don't have any organic keywords on your site. So we're going to talk about that. When you start adding content, you want to add what's called local buyer intent keywords into your content, which will help to start boosting you up in an organic Google search. Local buyer intent keywords would be phrases folks would use to find your service, and they would include your specific targeted area, such as drone photography, Orange County, or aerial photography, Orange County. Incorporating these types of local buyer intent keywords are going to help target the location and the services that you provide in those locations where you want business. Using the ones that have the location included are really, really good. They will help attract potential customers to you. And you can definitely utilize them for 
any and all locations that you service. So not just Orange County, you can include Fullerton, you can include Los Angeles, you can add as many as you want, sky's the limit. Now we're gonna take a look at a Google search that I did for aerial photography Orange County, and this is what came up. This section right here is called the map pack or the map section. Down here is what we call the organic listings. So up here in the map pack, ultimately where we want to see you is in the top three because 30 to 40 percent of the traffic that's going to come to your website or people picking up the phone and giving you a call are going to come from this area. Now I searched, I didn't find you in the map pack section, so I suspect that you probably maybe haven't set up your Google business profile yet. I have some tips that are going to help you to show up in this map pack and ultimately into the top three. And you can use these same tips in all the different locations that you service. So first you want to just set up your Google business profile. Also you want to ask clients for, for reviews, good reviews consistently, and then you want to go in and respond to those reviews. Some companies don't know to respond or they forget. It's really important to keep that as a priority for growing your business. Also, you want to make sure your business name, number, address, and hours are the same all across the internet, whether it's on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and in your Google business profile. I'm going to show you this, uh, see if Elevated Visuals actually has it. We're going to go look at them. So here's, the, here's their Google business profile right here. They don't have a website, um, and all they have right here in this About section is Full Service Drone Company. Interesting thing is, is that Google will allow for up to 750 characters in that section, which is actually quite a bit. You want to make sure that you completely fill it out and you optimize it with keywords. I also suggest posting geotagged, tagged, and branded photos here weekly. One of the best ways to rank high here also are from what we call citations. Now, citations is anywhere your business name, number, and address are shown exactly like in your business profile. These are placed in various directories such as Yelp, the Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages. There are thousands of these directories you can list your business in. Google's just a huge popularity contest, so what you're wanting to do is go out and give your information to as many people and locations as possible. That's going to help you rank in this particular area. Now let's go back down to that organic section. Um, the first one is ocpublicworks.com. The next one is Orange County uh, Government. So the very first one for a business is the ocdronephotography.com. We're going to take a look at them. And you realize they've probably been in business for a while. It's a big competitor, that whole thing. I get it. But we're still going to use them as our example and talk about them. Um, they have their website navigation right here at the very top. They've got their contact information right here. That's huge. That's really important. They also have their little chat box over here. I'm surprised that it's down there and it's hard to see. The other thing that I see for them that I would recommend for you, because you're going to have clients that are coming back to your website and they're going to want to access their photography, is this login right here at the very top. That's very helpful for your type of a business. I recommend adding that in where they can see it at the very top. Um, of course, they're using a lot of video, which of course is your business. I recommend you do the same. Um, lots of photos. They do tag, as you can see, Orange County Photography, Aerial Photography. They're tagging their photos with those names. So that's helping them to score and rank higher in a Google search. Um, I seriously would recommend the same. Now, I did count how many words on their site. They've got 152 compared to your 228. So you actually have more words. That's great. I still recommend we increase the number of words on your site. Let's look at their ARIS numbers really quick. Their UR and DR are 16 and 20. That's pretty good. Now their backlinks, they've got 3,100 backlinks from 609 referring domains. That's really huge. If you want to beat them, we need to go at least 100 over this number, which sounds like a lot right now, but it's a number that you can get to. The bigger thing here is their organic keywords. I want to click on that, and I want to just talk about that for a real quick second. This is where you can come in and you can utilize a lot of these same keywords uh, in the content on your site to score higher, to rank higher, and to start gaining more business. Drone photography near me, aerial photography, Orange County, that's a good one. Anytime you're using that location, that's what you want to do. 
but they're using all of these, you know, buyer intent keywords, um, drone photo services, OC wedding video. That's a great one. Again, let's see, Orange County photographers, DGI Costa Mesa, photography, Orange County, so many local buyer intent keywords. That's what we want to take from this is we want to include this on your site. So quickly recap, if you're, if you were to follow these tips by first getting a lot more content on your site two let's get the keywords within the content and add more local buyer intent keywords. And then three, let's get your Google business profile polished and increasing your citations. Uh, in all of those directories, all of these are really going to help your website to rank higher and get picked up for more keywords. We also need to go ahead and get your domain set up so that it is actually your domain and make some changes so that people know how to contact you from the get go. If you have any questions, let me know. I want you to, I want your feedback on this. I hope you found it very educational and I really look forward to hearing your feedback. So I'll talk to you soon. I love you. <laughs> Bye.